I got scammed out of ten thousand dollars trying to buy my dream car off a of Facebook Marketplace. Let me explain. Don't buy a car off a of Facebook Marketplace. Look at this kid's driveway. Just look at his driveway. How the hell are you gonna post a picture of a car that's leaking oil all over your driveway or some sort of coolant that's staining up your damn driveway, bro? It ain't no eight thousand dollars for that hunk of junk. You're leaking oil and or coolant. Fix that thing up before you have that shit on the marketplace. I can keep going at this guy's car, but I just want to give you guys a little story time. So a couple months ago, I was buying my G37 off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to put this guy in Brooklyn uh, at around 8 o'clock or something. Uh, so his dad was the actual one that came out of the apartment to sell me the car when his son that actually owns the car was upstate in school or something. So mind you, he, dad gives me the keys to check out the car. I'm looking at the fuel tank. This guy has no fuel in the car. How are you going to sell me a car with no freaking fuel? How disrespectful are you? Four of the, three of the wheels don't even match the car. Like, it literally looks like this hunk of junk. Uh, three wheels is like 20 inches. One wheel is like 18 inches. Bro, what are you selling me? Everything is mismatched. Um, and then the next thing you know, I check his um, OBD and I see his diagnostic codes. Basically, he has like a fuel rail problem, fuel issue problem. Dude, you're running no freaking um gas in your car you probably blew out your injectors you blew, blew out your fuel pump you blew out your knock sensor you blew out your whole freaking motor at this point i'm not buying that car for five grand if it's gonna have like five thousand dollars more in repairs Mind you, I popped the hood. Next thing you know, I go into the engine bay. I noticed that he had a, a kill switch wired that looks like a whole freaking light in a, a house. Like, he literally used a house uh, light switch that goes up and down as a car kill switch. How ghetto is can you be? The dad was on the phone with the son while I was talking with my cousin about, like, giving him an offer. Mind you, if this car costs over $1,000, I'm not buying this hunk of junk. The dad has the nerve to tell me that the gas station is, like, three blocks down. My guy, how are you going to sell a car that has no gas in it? I don't even know if I could drive this car three blocks down. I dare you to. You're going to need a tow truck to get this car right back. You know when you rev a car and it sounds unhealthy? I guarantee you the owner of this actual car is unhealthy as well. They spent all this money putting underglow, this and that, lips and kits and all that stuff. And their car runs like garbage. Throw this car in a dumpster. Throw this car in a fire. Just get it out of my face. So you know what I did that day? I took my money and I went back home and I went on Facebook Marketplace and searched around. You just keep searching and searching until you find a good deal. And then you buy the car that's actually worth your money.